Welcome back to the Pastel Pony Podcast. Today is Tuesday, October 18th, 2011, and I'm your host, Vos de Sueños. As you can tell, I'm a bit tired. Um, there's a lot more work that went into the episode going up today than I originally thought there would be. The... Sweet Apple Massacre story, along with Spiders, took me a very long time to edit. Now, a lot of you have sent me these things saying, please do first reactions, please, please. And yeah, that's fine, but I'm still not going to not edit. And there's, there's barely any editing, but the biggest problem was I actually had a guest host. And I only have one microphone, so what ended up happening is his audio levels were much lower than mine, so I had to go through the entire thing and manually edit his audio levels to something listenable. So, in the weeks that I do those, I will still try to do another fic like I did this week, but it was a long process, so it will be a long time before I do another one like that. In addition to that, I'll quickly go through the review because I've been spending most of my spare time in the past week editing the two that I'm putting up today. Um, I went through The Star in Yellow, but I think I've already talked about that one. I read one of each day, which I found to be really amazing, and at some point I may record it. I think it's On par with many of the episodes, the writing's very good, and the sense of humor that you get, and the characters are spot on. In many fics that you see, you don't see the characters being the same as they would be in the series just because the author wants to see them doing something else. But in one of each day, you actually see Pinky acting like Pinky and throwing a party for a goblin who steals her flower on one of each day which is a special holiday where she creates where she bakes a batch of one of each of the things that she's capable of making. So it's a really, really cool thing, and you should read it. Um, I've been reading more of Project Horizons, which continues to get better and better. And I started reading Some Ponies Play D&D because one of my friends who I finally got listening to this has asked me to do a reading of that, and... The writing is so much better than many of the fics that I see, and I find it to be so entertaining that I will eventually do it. What I don't know is how interested you guys are in it and how fast I'll be doing it. So if you guys like the idea of me doing an audio recording of that, let me know. Another thing that goes along that same line of thought is, I mentioned this vaguely intoxicated in... Sweet Apple Massacre, that my friends and I have long considered doing a podcast about gaming, specifically tabletop gaming, but also about comic books and geeky stuff, and obviously ponies will be in there because only one or two of my friends don't watch it at this point. So if you have any interest in that sort of role-playing D&D style podcast, let me know so that we can work on getting that up too. Now, I think the next thing that I was going to do was tell y'all about one of our one of our community who lost someone very special. So this is a shout out to our friend Jimmy because Jimmy lost his kitty Maverick this past week. So Every pony be nice to him and send him good wishes and, you know, that kind of stuff. Because I am so tired, I will not be talking for very long today. Just because at some point I also need to record Past Sins Chapter 3 for next week. And it's already late in the day and I have to work in the morning. So, I'm keeping it short today and I just thought that I would end off with a quick review of Lesson Zero, um, Episode 3 of Season 2. So, 
If you haven't watched it yet and you don't want any spoilers, run away now. Lesson zero. Oh my. So this is our first chance to see exactly what the team can do when Lauren Faust is not at the helm. Thankfully, they seem to have taken pretty good care of our little ponies and also possibly gone off the deep end a little bit. I don't know what you guys thought, but I, when I was watching it, all I could think was they've been waiting to do this since the beginning of last season and haven't been able to because it was originally a girl's show and they were being strictly corralled by Hasbro and the Hub. Now we have tactical nuclear rain booms and all kinds of ponies losing their sanity and Big Macintosh acting kind of amazingly. And there's just so much random stuff in that that I don't even... I can't wait to see Luna Eclipse because from what I understand, it, it's going to be... It's exactly the kind of story I would want to see, but at the same time, I saw a comic yesterday or today that was talking about Luna not being what the fans expect of her because we have such high expectations at this point after having almost a year in the fan and since she was only in the first two episodes. So I'm, I'm not really sure how to feel. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm scared, but I'm going to love and tolerate her until she grows in my heart. Yes, that was sappy and horrible, but I know. Finally, last thing is people, ponies, bronies have been asking for some kind of sign off to make my readings, you know, more to make it clear, not only when I end, besides the fact that I just stopped speaking, but also to have sort of this like signature sign off line. I'm still thinking about it. I'm going to do it at some point. But I have to find something that sounds right, and I just haven't yet, besides the word cheers. So, for now, that's all you get. Have a nice week, guys. I will see you back here next week with Past Sins Chapter 3. Cheers.